Howdy folks, it's time for my Julep um, subscription this month. Um, I don't know if this is an all the time thing because I haven't gotten a Julep box in a while actually. I had a bunch of jewels saved up. Uh, jewels are like points. The box itself costs um, $19.99 a month and it has nail polish and beauty products. And this is the first time I'm opening the box. But what's new is it does say add-ons inside, which I've never seen that before. Like I said, it may um, be something that they've been doing for a while. And I was just unaware of it. But um, this was the bombshell style box for this month. So let me grab a pair of scissors and open it up. Um, the Etsy boxes look a lot different too. They have these corrugated recycles um, logos on them, and I haven't seen those as yet. But um, I know some of what's coming in this box, but there's always little um, sort of bonus things and goodies. And um, I said the September box, but I lied. It's the October box. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, so um, the first thing it is, is there's a referral um, thing. I will actually put my referral link down in um, the comment section. Um, if you refer your friends to Julep, uh, you can get free boxes and score free things. Also, if it's your first time and you just want to try it out, um, you can get your first box usually for a penny, I think, and there is a code that you can do that with, and I will post that information below. Um, so, uh, Julep October, it says, don't ask permission from Joan Jett, and it has some, what are those, lights? I guess they're lights. But, um... I'm very excited, super duper excited about this. This Kajal eye glider. Kajal, I guess you say, ooh, well, goodness gracious. I think you say Kajal. Um, it's an Indian um, style of eye pencil. Uh, there is the pencil itself. It's double-sided. It uh, has one that says, um, what does that say? Carbon black and brown shimmer. And I will do a, somehow I will do a quick swatch. I'll do it on my hand. And ooh, wow, it's really um, super pigmented and it glides on um, really beautifully. So there is the brown on the left and the black on the right. And that's just um, a simple swipe and not really applying too much pressure. Um, the brown tip of this pencil, if you can see, um, the brown side seems to be a little softer. Uh, it's already kind of worn down and smudgy. Um, Kajal pencils are generally tend to be a bit softer. I don't think they have as much wax as the normal pencils do and they're for that really heavy um, beautiful eye. Uh, I love eyeliner and I'm kind of obsessed with it so uh, there you have it. There is some candy corn. It's funny I actually just found my julep from an October box last year. I had kind of misplaced it and I thought normally I take all of the beauty products out of the boxes that I buy and for whatever reason I didn't um, this time and so I found my candy corn from last year just a few days ago and just pitched that. And I also found a really awesome like oxbud blood color of nail polish that I got last year this time so just remembering on that. Let's see what else is in this box. Uh, just the candy corn, it looks like it just has what the candy corn is. So anyways, um, this is also new. These are a new style of boxes and a new style of packaging. Um, I haven't seen these before. Uh, if they aren't that new, forgive me. I just, um, all of the ones that I have are black. Um, they have, uh, the just more common black ones and they didn't come in these, like, cardboard packages. They had like a plastic covering on them. So um, I don't know which 
the difference is. This color is the bombshell color. Um, that was a style profile pick for the month. Usually I pick It Girl because I usually feel that there are some more interesting colors in the It Girl. This has a micro glitter in it and it is a very deep cream sort of a um, teal color I guess. It's a little bit uh, more yellow in this light that I have it in, but um, it is very pretty. And there's the color Valerie Bombshell. Um, all of Julep's nail polish is for free, which is um, pretty cool. Uh, not a lot of unwanted chemicals and nasty stuff in there. This one, I am, I must say, I'm super duper excited about. This is the vinyl um, type of nail polish. It's not really latex, um, or it's not really vinyl, I guess. It's, it says in the description that it's not actually, doesn't have any latex or rubber in it, but it's supposed to look like latex rubber. And I just thought the swatches of this online were pretty magnificent. It's not completely flat. It has just enough gloss to look um, plasticky, and that may not be your cup of tea, but I thought it was really beautiful and awesome. And um, I love black nail polish, but I like to have interesting ways to wear it. I like to wear it as matte or as an accent nail. And um, I do have that top coat, that really great um, top coat that uh, the Freedom Nail Polymer, um, that stuff really makes your nails like shine immensely much. And um, when I have any polish on my nails at all, which I don't right now because I don't have any nails on, um, you can really do some beautiful and interesting designs to do a gloss versus a more flat. And this was, oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Holy cow. I'm in awe. Okay. Um, this was, this whole box was free with, um, my jewels, which were the points, as I started to say before. And the cool thing about that is that, um, I've been in Julep for a while, but I skip a lot. Like I said, I haven't had a jeweled box in several months because there just weren't problems that are products that really interested me. The last box I got was the Great Gatsby box that had the um, lip scrub and the lipsticks in it just because I thought they were pretty. But when I got them, they um, were really, really sheer and not pigmented at all. But um, you win some, you lose some. This uh, beautiful color was also with Jules. Um, I've never gotten any jewels from subscribers. I've simply gotten jewels from, you know, buying a ton of their products. I have way too much jewel nail polish, which is another reason that I need to stop. Stop, stop, stop. This was an add-on. It was Beatrix. It was um, a bombshell color, but it was one that was an add-on for Halloween. And um, it is just incredibly pretty. There's really fiery sparkle. I actually got this because I thought the black and gold would be super awesome because I'm a Steelers fan. But um, it now is even a little more awesome because you can see there are some wild blues, reds, um, just outright gorgeous greens colors. It looks like Christmas lights to me. Um, Christmas in the city. So um, maybe there will be a whole Christmas tree done in this. I don't know but it's going to be fab. Okay, so um, I will check really quickly to make sure there's nothing else hiding in here. Nope, that's a little disappointing. I was hoping for more than candy corn because sometimes there's going to be some cool stuff, but um, not so much this time. So what do we have? We have the Kajal liner in the brown and black tones. Um, I'm going to love that. I can already tell. Uh, it just seems um, super nice. I hope it's really long wearing. Um, I will try it out tomorrow and I'll put some comments down and tell you my thoughts about that. Um, and then the fab polishes of the month and the even more super, wow, that is just so cool. Um, I'm a fan, fangirl of this color. Super awesome. Going to totally put that on my toes tonight. All right. Well, um, so that was my box. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that seeing these um, might encourage you to um, pick them up for yourself. You can get them in Jolip stores too, I'm pretty sure. Or you can have, become a Jolip maiden. 
and um, get them at the discount price. I'll put the link down below. And um, I hope you guys have a happy October. And I will see you soon. Thanks. Bye.